Hi guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to insert a rewire device in Cakewalk Sonar X1 Producer Digital Audio Workstation. This should be the same for other versions of X1 as well. Let's jump right in and get to inserting a rewire device in X1. To do this, first simply scroll up and click on the Insert menu, scroll down, select Rewire Device, and then select Reason. Now you're going to get the Insert Soft Synth Options panel. And in this panel, we have a couple different options. If you wish to simply send Reason out and into your Sonar project, you can simply select Simple Instrument Track under Create These Tracks. If you would like to send each of the Reason devices out to its own audio track inside of Sonar, select All Synth Audio Outputs Stereo. Now be aware, this is going to create 65 separate tracks of audio in your project because it's going to create a new audio track for each of the mixer ins inside of your virtual mixer in Reason. So unless you need to independently mix each of your Reason devices in Sonar, you would probably do best to simply select Simple Instrument Track. After you've made these selections, go ahead and hit OK. Now a Reason track is immediately going to be created for you and Reason is going to automatically open in the background in rewire mode. Now we can see that Reason has opened up and if we take a look at the top panel here in the hardware interface we're going to see rewire slave mode. This means that, Re that Reason should be connected up to and slaving to Sonar. So let's go ahead and hit play and make sure that that's working. Yep, there you go. We can hear Reason being rewired into Sonar now. So this means that from here we can add our own effects and our own EQs and various other options and effects to our Reason track and we're all set and ready to go. Now let's say that you would like to control a Reason device using a MIDI controller from inside of Sonar. Again, this is real easy to do. Click on Insert and select MIDI Track. This is going to create a new empty MIDI track in your project. Now, take a look at the Track Inspector. In the Output pull-down menu, under In and Out, click and select Reason. This is going to send the MIDI output of this track to Reason. Now we need to select which Reason device we would like to control. Scroll up in the Track Inspector and take a look at the Channel pull-down menu. It's marked with a little C right here in the corner. Click that pull-down menu and you'll see a list of all of the available devices that you can take MIDI control of from Sonar X1 back into Reason. So if we wanted to control our drums using our MIDI controller inside of Sonar, we would simply need to select Drums. And now as long as our MIDI device is properly set up inside of Sonar, we should be able to send our MIDI traffic out and into Reason. As you can see, making use of rewire devices such as Propellerhead's Reason inside of Sonar X1 is very easy to do, and you can have a lot of fun sending the output of Reason back into Sonar and adding your own third-party effects and really deepening the mix as you add Reason to your Sonar project and your production as you move along. As always, I hope that this has been useful to you guys. Please stay in touch with me. My email is brian at obedia.com. You can find us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And of course on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obediatutor. Thanks for watching. And until next time, happy music making.